welcome to msd learning world hello everyone so in this video we are going to see traveling salesman problem and how the traveling salesman problem is a uh, solved by brute force approach and this problem is a great challenging problem where with a given n number of cities where one city is a source and another city is a destination so with that source and destination how a person is able to reach the destination with the shortest path and here while uh, representing this problem we are taking a graph data structures where vertices are represented by the cities and the edges are represented by the distance between the two cities so here the aim is to find the shortest route where from the source to destination a person is able to reach with the shortest distance so here what how the brute force approach is used to solve this problem is as we already know the brute force approach will be finding all the possibilities from the source to destination it finds all the sets of routes from the source to destination and at last it will find the route from source to destination with the shortest path so let us see how the algorithm is uh, created with the brute force algorithm for solving this traveling salesman problem why do we want to use brute force approach for solving the traveling salesman problem so when we are using the brute force approach there is a possibility of finding all the permutations of n minus 1 intermediate cities that a person can reach from source to destination so with the available uh, distance of all the paths that are available we can select the optimal path which is having a less distance that is the advantage of the brute force approach the second thing is that there is sure that an optimal solution we are able to find it and there is a possibility of finding the best route since this method is finding all the possible paths that are reached from the source to destination and almost the third reason is that it is a straight forward approach which finds all the possible combinations that the person can travel from the source to destination and almost the traveling salesman problem is an np hard problem where the problem will be taking a non polynomial time to solve and there is no quick solutions that is available to find the solutions from the source to destination and also whenever we are increasing the number of destination for the same problem the time complexity for calculating the optimal best route is also increased so it is an np hard problem also the steps for finding the uh, optimal solution for the traveling salesman problem by using brute force is the first step is it finds all the possible uh, permutations of the path that are available from the source to destination the second is is list down all the possible combinations of the path that are reached from the source to destination the third one is then it finds the distance between each and every path and it's a sum up all the path and it gives the final uh, distance for each and every path available from the source to destination the fourth one is with the available distance is chooses the optimal one this is what is the brute force approach so at last we are able to find the optimal best solution which is having a less distance so here let us see an example for the traveling salesman problem so here uh, there are uh, four vertices and uh, the edges are connected between uh, the vertices uh, for example here from a to b uh, the distance is 2 from b to d the distance is 3 from c to d the distance is 1 from a to c the distance is 5 the, then from c to b the distance is 8 and from a to d the distance is 7 so these are the available uh, nodes and the edges so now we need to find uh, according to brute force we need to find the all the possible avail, available routes uh, from the source a as well as to the destination with the same destination as a itself so here the person is starting from a and he has to again reach back to a with a minimum uh, possible solution that is what the minimum distance so here what are the available paths are uh, from uh, the person can travel from a b c d a for that the distance is 2 plus 8 plus 1 plus 7 is 18 similarly the other route is from a b d c then a so here the uh, possible solution is uh, 11 so as the as like the same way the other available paths are a c b d a 
for that the distance is 23 then a c d b a the distance is 11 then a d then b then c then a the root will be uh, followed in this way and the distance will be 23 then the other distance is a d c then b to a so the distance will be 18 so like this the list of all the distances and the path that are available from a back to a are 18 11 23 11 23 and 18 so the minimum distance here is 11 uh, and another root is also having the same 11 so in this you can select any one path either a to b to d then to c then to a so here you can you can use any one optimal solution so the time complexity for running this is we are finding all the possible permutations of uh, uh, root from source to destination which is of n minus 1 factorial so the time complexity of the traveling salesman problem is order of n factorial the applications of the traveling salesman problem are this problem is used in various real time applications sir where when we take a last mile delivery where it is nothing but a problem that are related to the movement of the transportations movement of the um, uh, delivery items uh, for, for the transportation it needs to find the shortest path from the source to reach the particular place then take a vehicle routing problem so when we start from the source to destination it uh, the vehicle routing problem has to find the minimum available distance that has to be reached the destination so for that we can use uh, this traveling salesman problem solution and another application is like order pickers in a warehouse when you have a warehouse uh, from a warehouse if, if you want to deliver the list of items to various uh, places then you have to select uh, uh, the order has to be selected so that uh, the warehouse must be very near so in order to avoid uh, in order to avoid the longest distance uh, you can go for the traveling salesman problem to solve the problems like order pickers in a warehouse and coming to a facility location for this type of application like suppose if you want to build a uh, build a place um, build a place where you can run your business uh, so you are running a business where you have to store all your uh, uh, items in a particular warehouse then you need to uh, build the warehouse where uh, the warehouse is nearly located to your uh, uh, business point suppose you have a uh, in for your business you are having some multiple locations uh, multiple location for all the multiple location your warehouse must be in an uh, in a correct place where the distance between each of the each of your business location to the warehouse is uh, uh, very near that is what is a facility location uh, problem so this solves problem also can be solved by traveling salesman problem when you take an aircraft controller but for example when you uh, when you are traveling from one source to destination in an uh, uh, through airways uh, so the uh, airways controller has to make a uh, uh, shortest path available to reach uh, from the source to destination then uh, tourist traveler when you want to make a tour from a uh, from your source place to any other place you have to travel in a shortest distance where you are uh, minimizing your uh, spending amount as well as you are able to uh, cross through less number of intermediate cities then uh, you have another problem like uh, drilling holes in the circuit board so when you are making a uh, holes uh, from uh, from a source place to an uh, destination place uh, already two holes will be there by for connecting those uh, uh, two holes you want to make uh, some intermediate hole in between so while you are making it you have to make less number of intermediate holes such that you are able to reach the source hole to a destination hole in your circuit board so for this type of application also you can go for using traveling salesman problem then genome sequencing and manufacturing cell layout when you are building a large building you must uh, uh, make a proper design uh, so that uh, you are able to uh, reach the uh, final route with the shortest amount uh, for making a layout for, for your manufacturing cell for keeping up of uh, devices and the equipments um, you are you have to calculate the optimal solution for all for this type of problems like uh, uh, for finding the shortest path from one distance to any distance then uh, we can go for uh, using this traveling salesman problem and this is a very challenging solution and this type of problem is uh, commonly used in uh, most of the real time applications already we have seen the example for solving the traveling salesman problem so we, you will be easy to understand how to create the algorithm 
Uh, so here the main thing is uh, it needs to find all the subsets of the routes that are available from the source to destination with the given number of cities with the distance. And at last when we are selecting the optimal one the uh, route uh, that is having the minimum distance has to be selected as the optimal solution. So here coming to the algorithm of traveling salesman problem it where it is going to take the list of cities and the distance between the uh, vertices are given as an input. So initially it is going to assume that the distance is a minimum one. Then for capital S yes, already before you are coming to the solving the algorithm you have to find all the possible subsets of the routes that are available from the source to destination. Now for each of the route you have to take up the distance and you have to keep on cumulatively add the distance for a single path and find the final distance of for that source to destination. Then at last you will be entering the for loop for the, all the subsets of the available path it is going to find the minimum distance and then it is going to select the optimum one. So this is what is the uh, traveling salesman problem where uh, since it is finding the subsets of all the available path in the given graphical notation here it is of uh, making n minus 1 factorial times for finding the subsets. So the time complexity is order of n factorial. So here we have seen a traveling salesman problem and how it can be solved by brute force approach. We have seen the algorithm steps also uh, along with an example of uh, how we are uh, able to find the optimum solution by using brute force approach and various applications that are available in the traveling salesman problem. Do not uh, forget to like, comment, share and subscribe the channel. Thank you. Bye.